Hi guys, Kelvin here. Welcome back to the Bitstrap channel. Today we have another gun charger from Gravastar, surprisingly. And Gravastar is actually known for their eccentric cyber style design speakers and earbuds. And this is the third entry into our channel. I'm surprised they are venturing into the charging gadget scene. And let's take a look at what the Alpha 65 can do. GAN stands for Gallium Nitride, a semiconductor material that produces less heat at higher power draw and delivers better conversion efficiency from your wall AC to DC at higher wattages. Another benefit is more parts can be packed together for a compact size charger. Design-wise, this is more of a functional decorative piece that can charge your MacBook Air or Pro together with other low power devices simultaneously with its multi-port right here. When powering on, you can actually see the LED lights glow up, a notable detail to tell whether it's on and off from a distance in dim lighting. When it's not in use, uh, basically you can prop the legs in several angles like uh, such. So you can see whether it's like, you know, running towards you, like, you know, like it's walking, it's standing or basically uh, tilting towards you, pointing towards you. And you can actually adjust its magnetic antenna right here from different, different angles as etc so let's look at the view side view front view side view back view and of course the top view right here you can adjust its antennae and basically this is the charging port right here so it comes in two different colors white and war damage yellow which i think the war damage yellow looks so amazing now this charger right here it comes with its typical two pin right here that can flip in and flip out for the US and China market but if you're buying the UK version no worries they are actually providing you the adapter two types of adapters right here so they provide you a three pin adapter and a two pin adapter right here so all you need to do is you know find the pins right here and just slide it on like so so you can see that the legs are sitting on top of this area right here but let's say if you're not using three pin it's fine you can just swap it out to the two pin right here just slide it into position and you can actually adjust the legs such a way that it's actually on top uh, you know you know pro docking on top of the, the socket that you are attached to so it's good to use this uh, charger right here on a socket that is down facing pointing towards you if you're putting it against the wall it looks very awkward you can see it's bottom in state now aside from that they also provide you know additional stuff for you to play around because gravastar they are very creative people so uh, taking out this uh, two pin right here they also provide you this a water activated decal where you can stick more decals onto your charger itself to add a little bit more sass to it or you can actually attach it to you know your your iPhone or Mac just to be a little bit more creative on to charging performance both USB-C ports right here supports power delivery 3.0 standards and the USB-C 1 mark in the 65 watt decal is rated for a 65 watt output we managed to get at 77 watts which is 12 watts more better than advertised while the USB-C 2 port rated for a 20 watt decal right here is rated for a 20 watt output we managed to get at 28 watts which is 8 watts more than advertised great lastly the USB-A port right here that supports Qualcomm 3.0 standards is rated for 18 watts once more showing a decal that is it's rated for 18 watts right here we managed to get at 16 watts which is slightly lower than advertised I also tested multi-port charging to see its performance. Starting with both USB-C ports used simultaneously, it's rated for 65 watts output. I managed to get at 83 watts, which is 18 watts better than advertised. When I use the USB-C 1 and USB-A, it's rated for a 63 watt output. I managed to get the similar 83 watts, which is 20 watts better than advertised. Next is the usb -C c2 port and usb a port right here is rated for 15 watts output i managed to get 16 watts which is just one watt slightly better than advertised lastly if i use all three ports right here it's rated for a 60 watts total output i managed to get a whopping 82 watts which is 22 watts better than advertised 
So here's a summary. The Alpha 65 is Gravistar's first attempt at gun charges and they did it well on the first try. Usually other companies will do it like third time is a charm and yay and give it a shot from there. But no, Gravistar actually did a very good charger that has a good design and good charging performance that oftentimes perform better than advertised. And given the amount of stress load that I give to this charger, it doesn't overheat, it does not go bonkers, it does not smell up or you know go kaboom. It's a plus point for me. I appreciate that. So I would recommend getting this charger if you're into functional decoration like all Gravistar products. But I would also like to see Gravistar to design maybe a cyberpunk inspired 100 watt uh, power banks, power station, or more specifically 100 or 140 watts gun charger like this with more you one extra USB port and I want to see if they can just make the same performance like the 65 watt right here. So again, it may not be travel friendly because of its slightly bulky design right here, but it's definitely a must have for those geeks like us who wants a little bit more cyber feel a little bit more sci-fi feel and a decorative piece that actually works as a charger right here so links to purchase can be found in the video description down below if you like this little robot to be your companion you know just get one of these remember to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what other gravistar products you want me to review and i can reach out to them to try to feature in this channel till then i'll see you guys in the next video